Hey, Henry, and everyone else that may watch these videos. Um, first response. Yeah, I could have recorded it horizontally, but I didn't feel like it, so shut up. Secondly, did you know that, um, actually change the subject entirely, but not really? Fun fact. Stop texting me! Fun fact. Did you know that, um, I'm just going to turn it on. Because people keep talking to me. Oh. Fun fact, do you know that Childish Gambino, the, the rap artist, played by Donald Glover, um, he stopped an entire concert to yell at one of his fans who was recording vertically. I think in terms of nerdiness, he beats that both of us, and I think that you and I are very different types of nerds. Because there's the nerds that ingest in nerd culture, which I do. I am a nerd culture fan. Or, they're the nerds who take breaks from doing their homework. Specifically for me, my psych homework, to read an article about psychology. I hate myself so much. Um, but that has nothing... Why am I bouncing... Why am I bouncing? I'm just gonna move to my laptop somewhere where it won't bounce. I don't know where to go. Very lost. Um, we're being very professional on the cameras. Um, the whole thing though is a uh, is, is is nerdiness is up is up to you, so it's not a competition. Jerk. Um, the moral of this story is. The uh, the fact that you got Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS is a statement because it's it's probably amazing. I watched all the stuff from Smash Brothers on the 3DS, um, so that I can know a little bit about the game because I I want it, not for 3DS. Um, my roommate and I have decided to wait for the price of the Wii U to go down again, and then we're gonna just buy a Wii U because there are enough good games out, um, to buy one. Which which is going to be a very interesting experience, but which brings me to to the next statement of good games uh, out. Well, first thing is my roommate and I our big bonding experience of this semester was we decided that we were going to beat a hundred a hundred percent beat Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi two. For the Wii, um, which we did, we did that actually like a week or two ago, and it was a glorious experience filled with a lot of anger and screaming. There, we hated that game towards the end. Specific sagas like the the Super Seventeen Saga just hurt my soul. Um, but favorite game of the past ten years? Oh shiz. I'm giving it to Melee. Brawl was a great game. Melee was better. Um, that's just a fact. If not that, I think it would be... Um... Uh, no, they can't think of anything <laughs> Melee. I loved it. I loved playing it. I loved, um, the, the setup. I loved the characters that they chose. I think my close second... Close second would be, um, what's it called? Uh, it's. It's right over there, hold on. Star Wars, The Force Unleashed 2. There we go, I knew I knew what it was called. The reason why I picked that one for my second place one is because it was a great game. It didn't get the amount of popularity that Super Smash Bros. Melee did, mainly because it, um,. It was for the Wii, which was a console that didn't do well. But it was one of the games I think just did well for the Wii. Because there's a huge difference sitting there going like this to force push. Wah! 
and like actually making them the motions which you needed to do for the Wii, which I thought was actually cool because I was just sitting there like with the blade, like it, it, it made me, it was much more immersive that way. It was one of the few games that the Wii really did well. Um, favorite game of all time is and will forever be James Bond 007 Goldeneye. Nintendo 64 at its finest. One of the best first person shooters ever. One of the classic first person shooters. And one of the first person shooters that just was good. It's one of the few ones that I still enjoy. Like, I played COD, I've played Halo, and it's good, but the, there's no substance to the gameplay. James Bond, Goldeneye. Um, this video is becoming long because of the terrible fact of technology, um, which kind of just ruins life, um, but since we seem to be talking about technology a bit, um, here's a little fun fact, question, it's a question, it's my question to you, Mr. Greenhut, uh, does technology ever become a bother to you? Because for me, it becomes a bother, specifically text messages. I'm going to make the question smaller. Are text messages a good way to communicate? Are they? Really? Answer me. Anyone else that wants to answer this can answer this as well. Just, what are your thoughts on text messaging? Does it work? Does it not work? Does it become intrusive? Your response. Bye.